So Okay, I guess I'll be the sweep So I did meet I met a real ninja like a like a guy like ninjutsu um, Not the motorcycle, but a true genuine ninja <laughs> Yes, I could see him <clears throat> He's a practitioner of the arts now when I was younger I did um, study a little bit of ninjutsu um, <clears throat> But it wasn't really hardcore, you know, it was more philosophy and all that BS, all that, all that metaphysical meditation, um, that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> well, I wouldn't call it BS, I'd call it mostly mystical. Now, <clears throat> so the stuff he was telling me, ah, okay, I could understand it, and, and, I, and I could tell he was the real deal, he wasn't, um, he wasn't just talking and a lot of people do talk but as a practitioner you actually don't talk about it you're not supposed to talk about it right because that's the whole thing you basically being a ninja you swallow your pride you don't let anybody know because nobody really does need to know that you're a ninja well no that's Bruce Lee sorry that that's not a ninja <laughs> but interestingly enough um, um, I mean this guy was on top of his game he, he really was on top of it and um, but you know what's really interesting is what I discovered was he still had many psychological limitations and I'm not saying that he's better than me or, or, or I'm better than him. Um, I mean, he's by far physically, he is probably superior mentally. He probably is a hundred times tougher than I am. I'd probably give up much sooner than he would. Uh, there's just a lot of things about him that's like, wow, this guy is, this guy is really much better than me. But. What I did notice was he did have a lot of psychological, uh, not a lot, but he, he did have some psychological limitations. Um, and it surprised me because, you know, he's, he's studying ninjutsu. You're, that's what you're supposed to do. You reach your psychological limit um, or, or you go past them. And that's, that's what it is. That's the craft, you know. It's like in any Olympic sport. You push yourself, you're like the fastest runner in the world, but you're going to be even faster. You know, you've, you've broken the 500 pound limit, but you're going to lift something even heavier. You're going for the 600 pound limit, you know, that, you know, there's, there's stuff like that. Okay. So, um, that kind of, that kind of thinking involved, but who's to say you can't go past the thousand pound limit or the 2000 pound limit, you know, um, who knows, right? Um, um, what am I saying here? Oh yeah. So bottom line is, bottom line is, um, he he had some, he had a lot of psychological, not a lot, not a lot. I shouldn't say that. <sighs> anyway, what I'm trying to get at is, if you can identify what you believe to be the limit and then imagine imagine um, what's a little beyond that you can go pretty far okay basically yeah it's the same thing as aim high but if you don't get it you still you still nail it pretty good that's the thought hey that's a new bike Jixer's a brand new Jixer. Jeez. Oh no, that's a R6. Didn't recognize that as a R6. 